anybody who's seen my other video or some of my other videos would um, possibly already know how to make this. Okay. And for those who don't, you take a ring of eight and you pinch every second one out. And there you have one. Okay, now to make these ring the ring, which is part of the snake, and the basis for this, and some other things. You start by doing that. Okay, and now you bend it over and you put one of the points into it, hold hold it nice, hold it out a bit, so that it doesn't start collapsing. I'm holding all three points there. Okay, so very straightforward. That's the beginning, anyway. Now, notice that we've got a square on the top here. It sits directly on top of the square on the on the other side, but they're aligned, all right? So it shouldn't really sit like that. It's only sitting like that because of these ones. That's the that's the key to the whole thing. That they're aligned one on top of the other even though they're the same polarity. I'm going to start with a circle of eight. Pinch it into a square like that. Put it like this. Put it like that. Okay. Another one. Put it, see how that opened up kind of as I put it down? That's what you're going for. It's, it's very tricky this this initial part. And this is the first square. Just add another one. Once you get it going, it sort of gets some some sort of form from the one behind it. Now I've put that one on, there's the four, and there's the four bits that are poking out of it. Now, under those bits there's a gap and it's supposed to open up. And it often opens up quite easily. Sometimes it just doesn't seem to want to open up. Something to do with the way it's being put down. Basically, I mean, that's all. You just keep doing that. And you, you can see the, the number of them that I've done. And I still haven't quite got the knack of it. But once you get it going, you can sort of... Well, you put it on and it seems a bit funny, but you just under where under where it's a bit distorted there, you just give it a bit of a squeeze and it can open up. And you can see that's getting longer now. Really all you do I'll do one more. Perfect square. Put it on. And get see now there's a bit of thing that just pops on and it forms. Nice little bullet shape, and you can see how that's the same shape here. You get your stretchy effect. Very strong. If you think about the magnetic field, it's it's going in that direction, obviously, because of these must be going that way. Now you can open it up at this point and attach it onto the end of another one. It'll just go click if I push it. Well, actually, I would not because with the wrong polarity, this end would just go click. But what you can do from here is just add them one by one. And if you do that, you can make some of the joiner ends. If you make an end like that, you can put three of them together to make a one here. One here, the same. Um, 
it does have a polarity in the sense that this end is one way and this end is the other way. So you can't make triangles. You can make you can make shapes that have four sides because then the, you can do it that way and then that way, that way and then that way. See? There, there you go. Nice and flexible. Nice and wobbly. This sort of stuff. Here are some examples of models made using my new bendy tube technique. Um, point comes off. Oh, points are devilishly hard to put on. Circle, my torus, possible to rotate the torus. What a bendy thing. I'll use the fact that it's broken to. Demonstrate how to fix it because that happens a lot. Which might be easy to pull this one apart. You end up with these four things. I'll just take that bit off. It'll just clip back together. Very bendable. Stretchy. 